Uh, hi everyone, this is an interesting case where the patient has red skin, uh, look like this, and uh, I would like to emphasize the importance of using Androsa to differentiate between uh, four uh, deadly conditions, which is gangrenous and then uh, NF, which you have to do surgery. But in cellulitis, you can give IV drugs, you can observe, and then in abscess, you can use Androsa to actually find where to drain and, you know, make it more effectively to treat abscess. So in easy anatomy, you have to look from actually below. You have to find bone, which is there is a shadow right this. And then above bone, you would see muscle, which look like, you know, when you eat meat, yeah, there is a straight pattern Be above uh, muzzle, there would be fascia, which is a bright white, thick um, lie here. And then above that, it would be subcutaneous tissue, which normally you won't see much because it's fat. Uh, in patients who have cellulitis, you would see a cobblestone appearance, which you would see subcutaneous tissue floating around with fluid uh, in black color, you know, around, around like this. Uh, the important that I would like to stress is that you have to put a lot of gel above the patient's skin and you don't press the probe, you know, otherwise you would obscure the fluid. So um, let's see, this is our case. So when you not press, as you can see here, you can see fluid. When you press, there's no fluid. See, again. So not pressed, you see fluid. When you press too much, you don't see fluid. So this is, you know, uh, this is... Not press and then pr uh, not press where you see a lot of fluid. You know, it's not it's not good like in textbook, but you know, in this patient, the clinical suggests that oh, this is cellulitis. Other thing that I would like to emphasize is that um, there is normal and then there is cellulitis, as you can see here. You know, I draw to to make the understanding better. But in NF, when you look from below, you see muscle striated pattern, fascia with this white. Uh, bright line, pretty thick, and then you will see fluid, which is it. It looks like a black stripe, which normally it is the width is more than one centimeter, so a lot. This is a cladial clip from the Association from Taiwan. Uh, as you can see here, below is muscle stripe pattern. Above, as you can see, there is a black stripe, you know, like a river, you know, which uh, divide subcutaneous tissue and then muscle. And another thing that I would like to emphasize is the gangrenous tissue. This is deadly. I have seen people uh, dead from patients, sorry. I have seen patients dead one day, you know, after admit because they need um, more aggressive IV fluid and then more aggressive um, surgery. So basically, this is what gangrenous tissue look like. This is phonier gang gangrene. I, I, I couldn't find you know, gangrene in um, lake, but I think this it, it appear actually the same. So as you can see here, when you have gas forming or air, it would look like this. This is, see, this is the white area here, and then there is reverberation. It looks like actually bee line, but it's, you know, it's on your tissue or your leg or your arms. If you draw it, it would look like this. So subcutaneous tissue, you may see some black fluid, but as, actually, as you can see here, there's a lot of white area and then reverberation. This is a sum up, which is, I think it's pretty good. And it's actually state that, you know, the, the antibiotics, sorry, the organism that actually cause, you know, each of pathology. So again, if the patient has, you know, NF or cellulitis, sorry, NF or gangrenous, make sure they have proper treatment. And of course, uh, beware of, you know, IV fluid, IV drugs, and then you know, intubate if necessary. So thank you very much. Hope you find this helpful.